Ooh, we're shooting in four by three, and something's happening with the bokeh. Hello, hipsters and photographers alike. You may, rec you may recognize the name of the lens Helios 422. Very popular lens for photographers. It gives us cool swirliness in the background of your images. Oh man, that's fun. And the bokeh starts to swirl around the center. You can see the shape like morphing around this way. Like, woo, woo. This is a cool lens. I wanted to bring this to Blender, so I rebuilt this in Blender for you to use. I've made all the settings to the camera to act as a piece of film to collect the light coming in to a very specific slice. Uh, it's pretty much what a piece of film does. So uh, with the right geometry of glass in front of it, you can get images just like this. Uh, here's some examples. I thought the effect was pretty cool so far, so I put this on Blender Market with two other lenses. So, so far there's a 58 millimeter, a 105 millimeter, and a 135 millimeter lens. And they all bring something different to the table if you're trying to recreate photographic shoots or if you're really just missing that photo realism. It's because you're not using real optics, you don't have the right distortion. This is something you, I don't think you can achieve in the compositor, and this works a lot better, especially for animations. You can do focus pulls, you can do small movements. And something else is plaguing it right now. It seems the further away from zero that you move, geometries, regardless of their size, have micro tears inside, micro tears along the, uh, the edgings. Uh, you can see this yourself. Take the Zuzan model, throw it out to 300,000 meters away from zero and spin your camera around it. You'll see it just, it tears. It's a, it's a bit count, that um, internal bit that's actually maxed out and it rolls over. Yeah, I don't know, Blender, Blender Foundation's gonna have to try to fix it. Uh, I put a, put a post on the Blender Dev board to see if they would take a look at it and think of a solution. Uh, because this happens at microscopic levels too. So when we have glass elements in front of our camera, that effect will magnify the further away from zero, zero, zero you get, and you'll start to get some cloudy images, and then eventually it'll just fall apart and roll over this cycle, uh, just like the bit count. Um, so keep it within you know, a reasonable, realistic distance from zero, 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 and it'll be no problem. This is still very usable. I'm working on two other lenses at the moment. I'm trying to find a very, very complementing, maybe 35 millimeter lens, uh, maybe a 24, and uh, the effect is something of a fisheye, so super wide. So then the, this first set of lenses will be a set of five, and I can do a little bundle pack so you have like a full photographer kit. Um, so I don't know, if you're interested, please take a look. I would, I would love if you would take a look and let me know some feedback, and if you've already purchased, Please post some renders. I would love to see what you're making. I'm tired of making art myself. I need to take a little break. Um, so I'd love to see what you are making with this lens um, because I have maxed out every free asset resource because um, I'm just not a very skilled modeler. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go now. Tell your mother I said hello.